welcome back to the channel today we got a 34 board three window coupe <clears throat> I don't know why they call it a three window it obviously has four windows but uh, this one has a rumble seat in the back and it doesn't open or anything it's just uh, you know the appearance of it um, we're gonna do a custom on this nice looking car right here um, I'm not exactly sure why but there's a little dot in the roof I think it's trash in the paint it came that way so don't blame me for it but anyway we're gonna take this car down to bare metal and we are going to prep it and paint it black we're going to recreate the car from the classic movie the California Kid uh, if you don't know about the California kid, it's about uh, this guy whose brother dies in a tragic accident in a uh, uh, county in California. The actor is played by Martin Sheen. His brother was run off the road and killed by the sheriff in that county. And uh, he had killed other people by doing the same thing because his wife was run off the road by a careless driver. His name was Sheriff Roy. Um, his car was like the Plymouth Fury, but it was the uh, other version of it. Um, looks just like it. But um, it was blue and white. But the California kid's car was this car here, only with, uh, it was black with flames. And it actually said, the California kid, on the door. So we're going to recreate that car and bring that movie back to life again and if you really want to check it out I think you can see it on Netflix if not it's on YouTube I know 100% it's on YouTube so check it out the California kid with Martin Sheen it's hard to look at him in that picture and then imagine him today and Grace and Frankie it's just so different it's unreal you see him in that movie and you think it's Charlie Sheen no it is Martin Sheen if Charlie Sheen was alive, he must have been itty bitty, but I don't even think he was. Um, so check it out. So let's get busy and take this car apart and see what we got. I need to drill the base out first. I haven't done that yet. So we'll be back as soon as we do the drilling. All right, I'm back. Uh, went ahead and drilled the post and we're ready to take the car apart. Uh, two posts in the bottom. I got them both drilled out ready for screws the base is metal we have these uh, typical style wheels that come on a lot of Hot Wheels today the axles are crimped in we're going to change these we're going to go with something that's more along the lines of a matchbox car because that's what was on the uh, California kids car uh, it's like almost a dog dish style hubcap wheel that was painted black um, with a chrome ring so we're going to go with that instead of uh, the typical custom wheels <clears throat> the fenders are purple so we're going to have to sand and paint these with uh, some black paint because the car is completely black it doesn't have any color differences in it here's the seat the seats are black that there actually shows on the outside of the car it's the running boards as you can see right there so I'll probably repaint that black so it'll match the rest of the car the engine the steering wheel and the dash are all one part of the car <clears throat> and there's the windshield the windshields brand new nothing going on with the windshield the uh, engine compartment on the California kid is closed in and the flames come from here back like that but I think uh, we're going to kind of do a custom on it so that this stays open and maybe run flames from the edge of the engine compartment right here back and also include the California kid on the door <clears throat> um, because my only other choice because the steering wheel and the dash hold in the windshield right there and this here probably helps to hold the wheels on the only other choice I have is to fill all that in with JV weld and uh, do it with the 
grill, everything pressed in so that it doesn't move. I don't even believe the California kid has a hood scoop. So we're going to have to double check that, but we'll probably leave that as well. We'll call this the California Kid Custom. <laughs> How about that? That sound better? But yeah, it's going to be like the California Kid. We'll probably blacken in the grill. And uh, yeah, we're just going to make it look like the California Kid style car. I'll try to include a picture uh maybe as a thumbnail for this video so you can see what the california kid car actually looks like that hood scoop just doesn't feel like it fits in there right i don't think it was actually meant for this car i think this was actually meant for uh the oldie but a goodie maybe it doesn't come out nice and shiny like i want we'll probably go ahead and clear cut it before we proceed to decals just to make it look better i don't to know if I want to clear over the decals or not so we'll clear it then we'll put the decals on then we'll have a look and see what we got and if I feel it needs a coat of clear over the decals we might go that way um, you know we are talking about the 50s and the 60s things were usually hand painted so you didn't have clear back then you just had paint and you painted on your your uh, flames and all that good stuff so <clears throat> we're going to go that route uh, so we'll be back after we get the body stripped and we'll take a look and see if there's any defects in it we need to get rid of all right we're back with the body after stripping it uh, the citrus strip, strip did a fantastic job uh, it had the outline of like uh, a sunroof back in the day I think they used like a piece of fabric on the top where they could just unzip it and pull it back or something like that. So I, I, I sanded it off. Or rather, I filed it off. Um, after I stripped it and wire wheeled it, you can see little imperfections in the side right here, which is fine. But right here on this here, one curve of the rear quarter was one big old booger of cast uh, material. So I had to file it off. And then over here was another big old booger right here that just totally destroyed the uh, the detail that was on this side. So I had to file it off. Um, I'm going to guess the molds were going bad and had big old divots in it or something at that time. Uh, this car wasn't that old. It's probably, you know, 10 years old at that. Um, you can see a cast line here of some sort. Overall, it wasn't perfect. We did have that one big booger of trashed it was up here and it came right out so it was in the paint um, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and leave the hood scoop even though I don't believe the California kid had a hood scoop we're gonna go ahead and leave it because I think it adds a lot of character to the car and there's gonna be flames on either side of it so I think it's gonna look cool I'm gonna hit this with the wire wheel and kind of polish out where I had to file it down and uh, make it look a little bit better and then we're going to hit it with some premium black paint of some sort so let me do that and I'll show you the car after paint I might have to paint it two or three times it just depends on how well the paint job comes out I'm kind of a anal retentive perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that even though it doesn't always show in my work um, when you got to work with what you got it sometimes a little difficult but Anyway, let me go wire wheel it and paint it, and we'll be right back. Okay, I am back with a paint presentation. I wanted to give you a quick uh, idea of what the paint looked like. It might look kind of shiny on the uh, camera, but it's not as shiny as I would like it to be. So, you know, for the era, it would probably be correct. But I think I'm going to go ahead and clear coat over it because um, I'd like for the car to be a little bit shinier than what it is. Um, the plastic parts, I painted uh, the purple black. I actually had to strip this. I used some brake cleaner and sprayed all the paint off of it because for whatever reason, I put two coats on it and the second coat wanted to bubble up. So I said, nah, we're going to get rid of that real quick. I painted the interior because the pieces on the side show 
and I want them to match the uh, base in the body, the uh, fender base in the body. And uh, these are the wheels I was telling you about that the uh, California Kid 34 Coupe has on it. it, it you, you see it's got a hole in the middle, of course, for the axle, but it's supposed to be a dog dish type style uh, hub cap in the middle with a trim ring around it. Um, that's what's supposed to be on there. Um, you, I do see pictures all the time that have mags on there, five spoke mags and all that. That's not the accurate film presentation. But then again, this isn't going to be an accurate film presentation. So every step I take away from that makes me think, should I go ahead and put the mag style wheels on there? And I could go either way. I really could. Um, I've got these on this Mustang right here that would look really nice right on the car itself. So, you know, it could go that way or this way. Um, you can comment down below which way you think would have looked nicer. But I'm going to put those on there to start with and see how I like them. The axles aren't long enough, so I'm either going to make new axles I put in axle tubes, but I think what I'm going to just make new axles. I don't really want to put axle tubes in it in case I want to go to the style wheel. So, um, yeah, comment down below what you think would look better. I'm going to go ahead and clear coat these parts so that they can dry and be ready. It's been kind of rainy here, so it takes a little while longer for things to dry. And uh, when I get back, we will figure out what I did with the wheels. And uh, hopefully everybody will appreciate what I did. Okay, I'm back with a little update. I got the decals on. These are from Second Chance Redlines. And I got to say, I think he did an awesome job. Um, these don't really fit this car, but I'm making them fit this car. I'm supposed to fill in the side. and I decided not to go that route. But I got to say, I think these decals turned out great. I still have to cut the hole in the top, but I got to wait for the decals to dry turned out fantastic I'll show you the flames on the fenders really looking nice really 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 looking nice so we're gonna let those set and dry at least a few hours if not overnight it's very hot out here today so it should dry really quick I did use microsol microset which one was it microset to put the decals on to uh, help with the hole on top and the con contour right there so hopefully it's going to turn out great. Now, as far as wheels go, I decided to go with these because I figure, okay, it's not going to be 100% California Kid. So let's go with the new retro wheels that everybody's doing these days on the newer cars. So that's what we're going to do. They just snapped in there, just like the old ones came out. I just bent the tab, snapped them down in there. So let's let this dry and then we'll come back and do a, a quick uh, assembly. The final reveal and have a look see what the California kid is going to turn out to look like I think it's going to look great all right I'm back let's do an assembly on this real quick uh, it's uh, been a few hours I, the decals are pretty dry to the touch I still haven't done anything with the hood scoop here so let's take a uh, hobby knife and Put a couple of slits in that. That micro set just makes these things so soft and they, they just stretch more or less than they do. They cut, you know. Probably don't help that the knife is dull. Alright. There we go. Alright, now we got to put the windshield in. It's the first thing we got to do on this bad boy. Uh, you got to put it in and it's got to push it forwards. Actually, let's see, the back window is the wide window. Weird. Like that. Okay, then we got the motor, the dash, the grill. I am not going to color in the grill because the actual uh, California Kid car does not have a colored in radiator. The radiator is chrome. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that in there. This group comes through the hood, like so. 
Looking nice. Looking very nice. Got to get the interior over here. It's all painted black. Goes in after the motor and transmission. Like so. And then we need to get this part here. That's where I was clamping it to hold it to paint it. So hopefully that will not be seen. And it goes on like that. Oh wow, that's looking nice. Alright, okay. And then we have the base with those fancy new wheels. Yeah, I like to go with these because they fit. I didn't have to put in axle tubes and cut the other axles. So, yeah, that was a win all the way around. And we'll put a screw in it to hold it together so we can put it on display for you. You can call it the final reveal if you like. That back post is not going to hold a screw. It is way too shallow because of that sloping tail. Oh, that thing is heavy too. Look at that. Let me zoom in for you. There she is. The California Kid Custom Classic. It's a 34 three window coupe. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, how about leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for future notifications of great video content like this. And check out everybody doing diecast restorations and customs like this. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have an awesome day.